Hey, what's going on, guys? Excuse the wind, but we're at Salvation Army right now doing some drifting and uh, want to share the stuff that I got. Of course, I'm going to be going to uh, some more thrift stores or like two or three more. So, hopefully, get a nice little haul for you guys. I actually found some pretty good stuff, some good brands to look out for uh, when you're out thrifting. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to hopefully have a nice little haul to share with you guys. Drop a like on the video, comment, subscribe. Let's get right to it. All right, so I'm back from the thrift stores. I actually landed up finding 17, 18 items. So a little bit better than normal. Actually, a lot better than normal. I usually only find like five, eight, maybe 10 items when I go out. It really depends. Um, but yeah, I did pretty well today. I'm happy with what I got. A lot of good quality stuff and good prices. So let's get right to it. Make sure you have a notebook, some, something to write down these brands. So when you're outsourcing, you can find these brands and flip them on eBay for profit. So let's get right into it. I do ask one favor, please like the video and leave a comment if you guys wanna see more videos like this. So first brand I'm gonna share with you guys, that's really good. Write this one down, it's Cool, K-U-H-L. This is a nice outdoor brand. Think of like a Patagonia North Face. It's up, up there with like that kind of um, following. Um, this is a really nice shirt, uh, pretty plain. Um, look out for their jackets, their pants, button-ups. Um, this shirt will go for about 20, 25 bucks. Probably more in that 20 range just because it is pretty basic. But if you find like the sweaters and pants, you can get really good money. But their button-ups, always keep an eye out for them as well. Here is a Tommy Bahama, but this one is a little more special because it does have the Hawaii college on it. Um, if you ever find Tommy Bahama, always pick it up. I love picking Tommy Bahama up. Um, but when you find Tommy Bahama with sports teams on it, they, they go for more money. This one, since it's Hawaii, I should get around 25, 30 bucks for this. I'll say more like 25. If it was like more desirable team, like USC Trojans, Texas, uh, more of a bigger school, um, I would say probably more, but also another good tip is rain spooner, R E Y N spooner. Um, they make really good Hawaiian shirts as well. I always love picking up my Hawaiian shirts. I pick them up all year round as well, even in the winter and fall. Um, I sell stuff year round all the time, pants and shorts. I don't really stick to a particular season. Like I don't not pick up profitable pants in the summer. Um, all that stuff usually sells for me. I get asked that question sometimes. I still pick jackets up in the summer. I still pick up um, pants. I pick up swimwear in the winter. So just a quick tip guys, Hawaiian stuff still sells around this time as well. So anyways, five bucks into about $25. This one, I was really surprised it was there when I got there. This is Robert Graham. Keep an eye out for Robert Graham. This one is brand new with the tags and you can see, um, the price on that $148 retail. And this is just a simple plaid long sleeve um it is flip cuff so you flip the cuff and it has a nice uh, design on it so i don't know exactly i haven't comped this one but robert graham does well if you see robert graham pick it up um this i'm gonna guess and i can i could get at least 75 80 bucks for it i'm not 100 percent sure maybe 100 i don't know but i paid 3.99 for it and here's another robert graham if this one was brand new with tags this one would be for sure over a hundred dollars this one's a nice blue paisley and it is flip cuff and uh it is also a special edition so i don't know exactly how much this shirt goes for but when i see robert graham i always pick it up it's one of those brands that's in the rolodex and it's just a it's a no-brainer 3.99 at least 40 50 bucks on that at least bare minimum here's another uh item that a lot of people pass up on vintage western does very well vintage wrangler um, this one is vintage roper uh, western wear and this is a nice 90s color block a nice like aztec -y vibes going on really nice colors um, so if you see like vintage western stuff pick it up uh, even western like old wrangler pants sometimes can do well um, but always do your comping always do your research i love picking up vintage western shirts they do very well this i paid three dollars for i should get around 20 25 bucks i would say 25 bucks because it's unique another brand a lot of people pass up on that i find a lot of in my area is buckle black label 
this is a mall brand guys and this sells every all day for me for 20 bucks this is a size medium and i still think i could squeeze 20 bucks out of it keep an eye out for bke buckle black label this one is black label this one will do pretty well uh 20 bucks i paid i think like three or four dollars for it another good brand that has an amazing following harley davidson this is a woman's button up pearl snap I paid three, $3.99 for it and I should get an easy 15, 20 bucks. This brand's nothing special. I just kind of threw it in the rotation. Royal Robins, not, not the best brand, but when you're paying $3, when I'm paying $3, you're getting 15 plus like $1.99 shipping. I'm happy with that making six, seven, eight dollars profit. So here's a decent brand as well pretty good brand wool rich look out for their jackets their button-ups um, if you're getting them cheap three three four dollars max i wouldn't pay no more than four dollars for for a shirt like this um, to get you know 15 20 bucks for it last couple of shirts here and there's some other good bolos so make sure you stay tuned and hit that like button for me so we got duluth trading company this is just a regular nice button-up keeping out for their pants their jackets um, the outdoor wear uh, button ups they do very well so i got this one here and then also same size probably the same person donated these Duluth trading company good brand write it down i uh, paid three dollars a piece on those and i should get around 20 bucks a piece on those here's a bolo that a lot of people don't know about these are like old vintage shirts i don't know how old these are but these are brand new i paid a dollar 99 each on these and I should get around 15 bucks each pack. There's two shirts in them. These are older Gildan, brand new, obviously. And uh, so 15 bucks a piece, they'll go first class. So easy to ship and lightweight. And then also these are vintage Hanes um, thermal pants. Not big money on this, but $1.99 into an easy 15 bucks, $14.99 free shipping, light, first class, easy to ship. Um, but some, some old vintage brand new stuff like this can go for really good money. The thermal tops, uh, old vintage underwear like like um, like the tidy whitey uh, Hanes like briefs or whatever like sometimes those go for good money shout out to part-time pickers um, I kind of he put me on game on these in his videos and anyways keeping out for stuff like this especially when it's brand new another brand that you guys probably don't know about maybe you do but anyways howler so howler bros write that brand down board shorts um, this is actually the first time i found this brand and i looked them up if it looks like good quality like when, once you've been doing this a long time you could you just know what good quality looks like and unique different brands you've never seen before Ab after doing this for three years i've never seen this brand so i looked it up and it's actually going for 25 30 bucks each shorts so i got this pair and also this pair and I paid $3.99 a piece. I'll list them for $24.99 each. So I'll make some pretty good profit. Here's another good example of vintage uh, Western wear. This is a, like a red, like, like what is that? Like a red, uh, I just put red wash when I looked it up in Google or not Google, uh, eBay. And one of these actually, the same pair, same size sold for like 70 bucks. So this is a vintage like acid wash, I think, um, red. Uh, women's pants wrangler and um i paid two dollars and fifty cents for these they were half off they're originally five um, so i'm gonna see you do a little more research but i guarantee you i can get 25 plus shipping maybe 40 50 bucks for these so keeping out for old vintage wrangler stuff last item that i got here guys i got pretty happy when i saw these um, i found these with like the robert graham um, shirts that I found same spot. These are brand new at tags North Face pants. Uh, they are women's medium. I paid I paid up for these. I paid $7.99. But since I was getting everything that I got here for a good deal, um, I sometimes just if it's something's a little more expensive, everything evens out. So I paid $7.99 for these. I should get around 20 bucks plus shipping probably on these since they are brand new with the tags. But even if I get 20 bucks, I'll be happy and make you know quick profit and my money back. So yeah, guys, that's everything I found today. And that took about an hour of work, maybe even a little less. So I found some really good stuff. Um, and you can too. Go out there, put the work in, and keep watching these videos. And uh, I'm going to keep dropping this knowledge and hopefully help you make some money online. And hope you guys all have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace.